Hey guys, welcome to this week's Trader Joe's haul. So first up, uh, I couldn't find any new items this week, which is actually kind of perfect because I did not have time to film a taste test video anyway. So that worked out, you guys aren't missing out. Uh, there was really no new items this week. There was just a couple that I didn't find last week, um, but my store still did not have them. And then also, I wanted to let you guys know that there will be no video at all next week. I leave tomorrow to go to Guatemala. I am meeting my dad there. Uh, we're gonna be there for a whole week, so it's gonna be really exciting. I've always wanted to go there my whole life. I'm sure a lot of you don't know, but I am half Guatemalan. Uh, my grandparents are from there. My dad's full Guatemalan. He has a bunch of cousins and aunts that still live there. So yeah, I've always wanted to go there my whole life. My dad has been a couple of times and it's just me and him going this time. So it's gonna be a really exciting trip. I've been looking forward to it and I'm definitely gonna film while I'm there. So I'll probably put that up probably like a week or so after I get home. Um, but yeah, so let's get into this haul. So I got a lot of stuff for Brent to make because he's obviously staying home with the kids. So I got a lot of easy dinners for him to make. So I'll go over everything that we got. So first up, I got these garlic and cheese breadsticks because Brent's gonna be making some spaghetti. We already had everything for that, but he loves his breadsticks. So I grabbed him this. I'm so glad that East Coast uh, stores finally have these. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed the focaccia bread, the French onion one. This one's with caramelized onions and cheese. This one is one of my favorite focaccia. I mean, honestly, I think I love all the focaccia breads that uh, Trader Joe's carries, but I think I'm gonna be making a grilled cheese sandwich with this today for lunch. So that's why I picked that one up. Uh, Brent's also gonna be doing hamburgers and hot dogs, so he has to have the brioche buns for both of those items. He loves them. So the brioche hamburger buns, as well as the brioche hot dog buns over here. And then over here, Tristan requested uh, tater tots to go with the hamburgers and hot dogs. So I grabbed him a bag of those. I also grabbed the shredded potato hash browns. These are a must. We use these for everything. So I always try to grab one to two of these a week. And then these are finally back. I'm always on the hunt for these. And these were gone well over probably a month. I have not seen these in the store. So I grabbed two bags of these because we love these. These are the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. They're vegan and they're delicious. I love cooking these up on the cast iron skillet. So I was excited to finally see these back in the stores. And then over here, Brent is also gonna be doing some pizzas as well. So we love this pizza crust over here. It's one of our favorites. And it's really easy to divide um, as well too. So you can divide them up and each person can make like their own individual pizza. So I grabbed the Trader Joe's uh, pizza sauce over here and then as well as some mozzarella cheese. We grabbed some corn tortillas. I think he's gonna do tacos as well too. So we just fry these up um, and make taco shells with that. I grabbed some sharp cheddar cheese snack pack. I have not been to Sam's Club at all this whole month. So the kids love these, um, packing them in their lunches. It comes with 10 of them. So I needed another pack of those. These are my favorite gluten-free chicken nuggets. So good. These ones I usually eat for me. I'll make like a chicken wrap for lunch and they didn't have it last week. So I did just pick it up because I saw it this week and I, you never know with Trader Joe's. Some weeks it's there, some weeks it's not. So I'll just keep this in the freezer and probably use this for the week I get back for lunches. This is our favorite hot sauce now, hands down. We tried this, I think a couple of months ago for the first time and I just love it more and more every day. This is the Yuzu hot sauce, uh, just really great and we needed another bottle of that. I grabbed some sour cream for Brent for those tacos that he's gonna be making. And then I also grabbed some gluten-free waffles over here, just an easy breakfast for the mornings while he's packing the kids' lunches and everything. And these ones are really great and they're gluten-free as well too. So perfect for Tristan. The glazed sour cream donuts are back. It's been a while. I mean, these are usually out once a year. Uh, so yeah, definitely probably gonna eat one of these before the airport tomorrow morning because I have to get up very early. So I definitely don't have time to cook, uh, but this will just fill up my tummy before I go. Uh, and Lakeland loves these as well too. So I'm sure she's gonna have one as soon as she gets home from school today. I also found this, this was brand new, I think last summer and I picked it up it was pretty good. It's in this cute little bottle. I, de I saved the one from last year too and you can reuse it. It has like the little cap in there but this is the French Fizz uh, LeBlanc. Uh, light and crispy 2021 wine and it was pretty good as well too. So I picked that up because I saw it. 
These are staples every week. We grab the grass-fed whole milk and then orange juice for Brent. He's got to have his orange juice. And then last but not least, uh, Tristan picked out the snacks for next week. So he wanted the popcorn. This one's our favorite, the organic popcorn with extra virgin olive oil. Really great ingredients in that. And then he loves himself some barbecue chips. So these are the hickory barbecue flavored potato chips. So yeah, that is the haul this week, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you, I think, in two weeks. Okay, bye.